then she starts hitting herself with a folder and I'm looking at her like Bruh yeah, I'm on the track and I hit it fantastic. Gonna sell them all, gonna get that mad plastic. Yeah, I'm stuck inside and I feel a test. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ujao. I'm a second year medic at Cambridge University. And today, I'm gonna be talking about my Cambridge interview experience. My, um, not so great interview experience. Okay, so a couple of days before my interview, I decided that it might be a good idea looking up the people that were interviewing me. So I went on the Christ College website, uh, looked at what each of the interviews specialised in and about after five minutes of research I found out that the DOS was really into kidneys so I thought to myself okay might be worth learning a bit about that and that's exactly what I did for those two days my life sort of revolved around the kidney fast forward to the day of the interview my mother and sister dropped me off outside of Christ College I'm nervous and I'm sweating like mad because I've decided to wear this smart looking jumper just so I can look like one of those posh white private school boys that you imagine when you think of Cambridge. But it turns out I misunderstood the dress code because when I got to the waiting room, everyone was in a suit and I stuck out like a sore thumb. But anyway, after about like 20 minutes of sitting in silence with these guys, I got taken to this other waiting room where it's just me and this other girl. And she was a very interesting character. Like when I got there, she was already sitting down with this big ass folder of revision notes. And when I say big, I mean like that thick, like about the same size as my face. Yeah. Anyway, I decide that I don't really want to sit in silence for another 20 minutes. So I turn to her and I'm like, yeah, how are you feeling for the interview? Like, are you nervous? Whatever, blah, blah, blah. So instead of answering my question, she turns around and she's like, are you not going to revise? And I'm just like, um, no, I didn't really bring anything with me. And I swear to God, this girl looks at me with a face of absolute disgust. She scoffs and then just goes back to her work. And I'm just thinking, this mother fuck. But before I can say anything, she does this thing where like, she just starts whispering like And I'm looking at her like, what? And I think, okay, maybe she's just stressed. She's reading her notes, just leave it. Like, you're better than this. But then two minutes after, she just goes, no. And then she starts hitting herself with a folder and I'm looking at her like Bruh, you good? Thankfully I get called into the interview room like a minute later and I'm like Thank God, like this girl was scaring me I walk into the room, shake the interviewer's hands, hit them with the Hi, thank you for having me, my name's Ujiao, how are you guys? And then they explain how the interview is going to work There's two of them in this interview, there'll be two in the next interview And each interviewer will ask a series of questions for about 10 minutes each And when the interview is about to start, I'm just sitting there like Ask me about the kidneys Please ask me about the kidneys Instead they ask me What do you think has been the greatest advancement in modern medicine? This kind of threw me off a bit because with a traditional interview, I thought every question was going to be a sciencey question with like some problem solving and all that. But I managed to make up something about genetics and epigenetics and all that stuff. They asked me a few questions about my answer. And then we moved on to the kidney. And let me just say, when they started asking me about the kidney, inside I was just sitting there like... Having done two days of solid revision on the kidney, I'm answering all of these questions with ease. And it's all going well until I start messing up a little bit. And the questions were about pH and for some reason I kept saying that when you started adding more acid, the pH went up instead of down. And the dudes corrected me like, don't you mean down? And, <laughs> and me being me, I'm trying to play this off like, oh, haha, yeah. Yeah, I mean down, haha, <laughs> sorry about that. And this dude's not having any of it. Like he just keeps staring at me like he's looking into my soul. And if any of you guys are Christ medics or have interviewed at Christ, you guys know who I'm talking about. Anyway, after that, I just start panicking a lot and struggled with questions that I definitely knew the answers to. And it was just so frustrating because I remember there was this one question about how can the act of breathing help regulate pH? During the interview, I'd answered lots of questions that sort of pieced together the answer that they were looking for. But instead of working it out, I just kind of sat in silence for about a minute before saying, mm -hmm. Yeah. I also remember there was this question about how to calculate the volume of blood or liquid in the human body. And I didn't really know how to approach this question. My initial answer... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My initial answer was, well, 
If we ignore ethics, we could just drain the person of all of his fluid and measure it that way. And they didn't really want to accept this answer for some reason. I ended up having to ask for a bit of help and they nudged me towards radio with labelled substances. And as soon as they said that, a light bulb went off above my head and I thought about injecting the person with radioactive substance, allowing for diffusion and then calculating volume using concentration. But as soon as I start explaining this, they stop me and they're like, yep, that's, that's all the time you have. Thanks. My second interview ended up being a lot better than my first in terms of knowing the answers to the questions that they asked. But the thing was, I'd lost most of my confidence and I thought no matter how well I did in the second interview, they'd never offer me a place because of how I did in the first. They asked me about drug interactions and got me to draw out profiles of drug concentrations in the body over time. And I knew the answers, but because I was second guessing myself every time, I kept asking them, uh, is, is this right? They also asked me to explain transcription at one point, and I feel like that was the only part of the interview that I did well in. And that was only because I was just so into genetics at the time. But yeah, I left Christ College that day feeling like I just wasted my opportunity. I'd had two bad interviews that definitely could have gone a lot better. So I did what anyone would have done in my position. I went to Hotel Chocolate, bought about £20 worth of stuff and then ate them all on the journey back home. About a month later, I got an email saying that I'd been pulled, but I still had a place at the uni, which turned out to be great, actually, because one, I love my college, and two, I feel like Christ would have been way too intense for me. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully. Maybe. The rain and never stop, and we stuck inside, always popping. We made a lot of predictions, and most of them we are top, and we coming up with some more. We don't got the time to tour. In a couple years, I'm hoping that maybe we